Hi everyone, welcome to Eco Learning Classes. This is Professor Geeta Mahesh. Dear students, let us discuss an important and interesting concept classification of receipts. Classification of receipts under government budget. Dear students, we all know that government budget has two types of account. One is revenue account, another one is capital account. Revenue account is further divided into revenue receipts and revenue expenditure. Similar manner, even capital account is divided into two division. One is capital receipts and capital expenditure. As today we are discussing classification of receipts of government budget or classification of receipts, we have to take out revenue receipts and capital receipts. So here classification of receipts are of two types. The first one is revenue receipts. The second one is capital receipts. So from capital account, we have taken capital receipts. So here classification of receipts are of two types. One is revenue receipts, another one is capital receipts. Let us understand this with the help of a chart. You can see your flow chart. The classification of receipts are divided into two division. One is revenue receipts, another one is capital receipts. Revenue receipts are further divided into tax revenue and non-tax revenue. Capital receipts are of two types. One is loans, another one is a sale of assets. Loans, it can borrow internally or it can borrow externally. Internal borrowing or external borrowing. Dear students, let us discuss in detail revenue receipts. So here dear students, revenue receipts are of two types. One is tax revenue, another one is non-tax revenue. Dear students, let us start with the meaning of revenue receipts. What do you mean by revenue receipts? Revenue receipts are those money receipts of the government which does not create, which does not create a liability or reduce a reduction in the assets of the government. So revenue receipts are those receipts of the government which does not create a liability or reduces the assets of the government. Therefore, these type of receipts we call it as non-redeemable. Revenue receipts are recurring. That means that it will be uh, generated again and again or every year government will mobilize these type of money receipts. Revenue receipts are of two types. One is tax revenue, another one is non-tax revenue. Dear students, tax revenue are of two types. One is direct tax, another one is indirect tax. Good example for direct tax are income tax, corporate tax and good example for indirect tax are custom duties, excise duties, service taxes. What is tax revenue? Tax revenue is a compulsory payment made by a person to government without any expectation. So there won't be any quid pro quo. What is quid pro quo means? Between taxpayer and government, there won't be any commercial or semi-commercial relationship. Okay, There won't be any direct benefit from a government to a taxpayer. That type of revenue we call it as tax revenue. Tax revenue are of two types. Our tax revenue can be divided into two division. One is direct tax, another one is indirect tax. What is direct tax? Direct tax are those tax where impact and incidence will be on same person. You can see here a tax where impact and incidence is on same person. What is impact? Impact means here liable, a liability to pay tax. And what is incidence? Actual burden of the tax. So here 
under direct tax the impact and incidence will be on same person he cannot transfer the burden of tax to another person so under direct tax the impact and incidence will be on same person the burden of tax cannot be transferred to another person such type of tax we call it as direct tax good example for direct tax is income tax and corporate tax what is indirect tax indirect tax are those tax where impact and incidence will be on two different persons see here a tax where impact and incidence is on two different persons as already we know what is impact means he is liability to pay the tax so here the seller let us take a seller seller is going to pay the tax to the government so he is liable to pay the tax to the government and the seller will collect the tax amount from buyer so here customers are going to pay the tax and the seller will collect a tax from the customers or consumers and the producer is going to make a payment to the government so impact is on seller but actual burden of tax will be on consumers or buyers such type of tax we call it as indirect tax good example for indirect tax are custom duties excise duties service tax you can consider gst is also a good example for indirect tax dear students we discussed the first part of revenue receipts that is tax revenue now let us discuss non tax revenue non tax revenue or those money receipts of the government other than the tax revenue we call it as non tax revenue it includes interest received on the account of loans by central government central government will give loans to state government union territories and even to companies even to companies so it will receive interest on such type of loans will be included under non tax revenue dividends profits on investment by government government will also participate in the production of goods and services it is going to make a investment so it can earn uh, dividends or profit on such type of uh, investments it also collects a fine fees and penalties while doing a uh, public administrative services it also receives cash grant aid to government by foreign countries and international organization is also included under non tax revenue dear students now let us discuss capital receipts capital receipts are those receipts of the government which creates a liability or reduce the financial assets dear students if government is going to borrow loans then government is liable to repay this loans in future along with the rate of interest or government can also sell the government shares in the market so when government is going to sell government shares in the market it is going to reduce or lose its financial assets so these receipts can be a debt creating if they raise loans it may create it will create a debt if it is going to sell government shares or assets financial assets then we call it as non debt creating receipts it won't create a debt but it won't be available the financial assets won't be available with the government so it reduces the financial assets of the government they are non recurring so here government if there is a necessity then only government will uh, borrow loans and advances it need not that every year it has to say, uh, take a loans or sell government share now let us understand this with the help of a flow chart you can see here capital receipts are of two types one is loans another one is sale of assets loans are of two types 
loans means which creates a liability or the receipts can be a debt creating so here the loans are of two types a government can borrow within the country or outside the country if it borrows within the country we call it as internal borrowing and government will borrow directly from rbi indirectly from commercial banks and from public through open market operation government borrows outside the country that is we call it as external borrowing and government can borrow from imf world bank or from foreign governments sale of assets so here government is going to public sector undertakings which we call it as disinvestment so here government is going to sell shares of government companies to private individuals or to private entrepreneurs so such type of uh, uh, selling of assets or unloading of government shares we call it as reduction of financial asset of a government dear students now let us recall classification of receipts classification of receipts are of two types one is revenue receipts another one is capital receipts revenue receipts are those money receipts which does not create a liability or reduces the financial asset of the government capital receipts are those receipts which creates liability or reduces the financial assets of the government revenue receipts are recurring and uh, capital receipts are non recurring revenue receipts are of two types tax revenue and uh, non tax revenue tax revenue are of two types one is a uh, direct tax another one is a uh, indirect uh, tax good example for direct tax is income tax corporate tax and good example for indirect tax or gst and non tax revenue you can consider fees fine penalty and uh, interest uh, received on loan accounts of central government etc and capital receipts you can see government can receive a receipts in the form of loans or sale of assets in the form of loans it can borrow from within the country or it can borrow from outside the country so internal borrowings and external borrowings and here it can also receive a receipts by sale of financial assets of the government dear students classification of receipts is very very important for 6 marks so make use of this notes and get good marks dear students next topic classification of expenditure dear students if you like please like share and subscribe to my channel thank you so much